Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of SP Remap, an app to remap the buttons on the Samsung Galaxy Watches running Wear OS. So here's my Galaxy Watch 4. Let me long press the bottom button. It's Samsung Pay. And long press the top button. It's Bixby. We're going to change that using SPay Remap. The app isn't on the Google Play Store because it uses restrictive features such as accessibility. So we're going to install the app to the watch using Wear Installer 2. Now I recommend putting the watch on the charger for this. Firstly, let me make myself a developer. So I can go to About Watch, Software Information, and keep tapping on Software Version until I get a message about Developer Options. Here we are. And I recommend that you enable Stay Awake while charging, and we can then go down and turn on ADB debugging and also wireless debugging. Now let me bring in my phone and I'm going to download SPay Remap from the Freepot website and you can see the link in the notes below this video. You can also find Wear Installer 2 here if you uh, don't already have it on your phone. So scrolling through this, uh, this page, here is Wear Installer 2. And there's a help page here if you need written instructions for what I'm showing in this video. But let's keep going. And here we are, SPay Remap. So if I click on that, I get a message to say the file has been downloaded. And now let's open Wear Installer 2. And we can see a message that describes the, uh, the new pairing process that's needed on watches running Wear OS 3 and Wear OS 4. Uh, you, uh, you can read that at your leisure. But the key thing is that we need to put the IP address of the watch into this box here. And you can see on the watch that the IP address is 192.168.1.214. And that's the IP address that I'm just going to add in here and tap done. Now we need to pair a new device. So this is the, uh, the step that has just been introduced for the latest watches. And you can see that there is a pairing code and there's also a new pairing port that appears after the IP address. So I'm going to select pair with watch. There's some, uh, some further instructions here which you can uh, read, but I'm going to tap enable. And it's asking me to put in the pairing code and the pairing port as shown on the watch. So you can see that the pairing code is 301472 and the pairing port is shown on the watch just after the IP address and it's 35791. Obviously your, your numbers will be different from this. And I can just tap done. 
attempting to pair please wait and now successfully paired so now there's a new we're back at the home screen in where installer 2 and there's uh, a uh, an extra box here and that is the box to enter the uh, the port number that's shown on the watch here and this port number is not the same as we used when we did the pairing step a moment ago it's a different number so you can see it's three nine three five nine and again your number will differ from that so now we can go to custom apk and it's going to show a list of all of the APK files that are in our downloads folder and the top one is the one that we just downloaded from uh, my Freepot website a few moments ago spremap uh, underscore where so let me tap on that it tells me this APK file is for Wear OS and so continue and now I can install sending the APK file to your watch. This will take some time, should only take a few seconds and I get success APK installed on watch. So now I can finish. I get a message saying turn off ADB debugging on the watch. That's important to do because if we leave it on, we'll find that the, uh, the battery goes down quickly. So turn off while it's debugging, turn off ADB debugging and you can also turn off stay awake while charging if you like but I'll, I'll just leave it for the purposes of this uh, this demonstration so now if we go to the list of installed apps we can see uh, SPay remap is uh, is installed here and let me open it now this screen explains how to remap the top and bottom buttons. I'm going to step through it fairly quickly in the interest of time, but you can read it at your leisure. The, uh, the first thing though is we need to give accessibility permission uh, to this app so it can do its thing. And if I just press done, it takes me to the accessibility menu. Look at installed apps. SP remap, turn it on. Yes, I'm sure. And now right swipe until I'm back in the app. Now, if I tap done again, it's going to take me to a carousel of all of the installed apps on the uh, on the watch. And let's just decide uh, which apps we're going to map to which of the uh, the buttons so for example um, let's see uh, let's map music to the bottom button so I'll just short tap bottom button mapped to music and if I long tap then it will map the uh, the app to the top button so let's choose calculator. Let me long tap that top button mapped to calculator. And now we're done. So if I now long press the bottom button, you can see it briefly opened S -Pay, uh, Samsung Pay but then immediately it opened the music app, which was the, uh, the app that we had previously selected. If I long press the top button and it opened Bixby uh, and then it opened the calculator, which was the, again, the app that we chose. Now you can see that uh, Bixby sort of starts twice before the calculator comes in. Um, we can actually improve this uh, by introducing a small delay. So if I go back into uh, SP Remap and go down to the bottom, uh, there are a couple of options here to introduce a delay. Um, and actually, if I select one second for the top button, I'll leave the bottom button at, at zero. 
and we'll leave the assignments as they are. So now if I long press the top button, uh, there's just a momentary delay and then and then I get the calculator. So that, that works a little bit better. You can experiment with um, with uh, different uh, different delays if uh, if that's helpful to you. So uh, so that's about it for now. Uh, I hope this little utility app is useful to you. You can find all my apps at my Freepot website as shown before. They're all completely free with no ads or in-app purchases. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.